Hola Aries, welcome to your mid-month reading for July 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aries for the middle of July 2024. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to Universe and closer to Divine? Can you please show me the energy Jason Aries can expect in the middle of July 2024. We have the Ace of Beetles in the upright. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra. In there, I'll have your love, career, finances, and health. Specifically, challenge position, we have the flying machine in reverse, which is similar to the chariot card. Um, in my playlist, your 2024 Sun Moon readings are starting to come out. Put your requests in the comments. I will put you in queue. 2023s are still in there, so go see if they rang true for you or somebody else. Advice, we have the judgment card in the upright. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate for me to a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. I can already tell I'm going to need clarifiers, I think, for that last card, but let me kind of pick through it. So, it looks like the energies you can expect middle of July is a big opportunity coming in. It's a practical opportunity. It could be um, an offer on property to buy. It could be a financial windfall. It could be starting a business with somebody. Um, it could be an investment of some sort. It could be a new career that is very viable and very profitable. Um, so any of those things. So that is the good news. Again, practical sense. It's the Beatles, similar to the... Um, to the pentacles, so those typically have to do with finances, money, practical matters of that regard. Now, the challenge position with the flying machine in reverse, which is a card of cancer, um, the challenge is that this is taking you off your trajectory. So I feel as though you're doing one thing and you kind of had one thing in mind and you're going towards this goal, and then all of a sudden this other opportunity comes up and you're like, oh, that's gonna take me over there. I don't know if I wanna be over there. I wanna kind of keep doing this. Can I do both? I don't know if I'm going to have to leave this in order to do that. So I feel as though the challenge is that it's not really on your beaten path that you were kind of counting on. Um, and it might be something, like I said, a little bit off the beaten path and not necessarily something you consider or you would consider. Advice, judgment card of the upright. So this is pretty much look at the situation for what it absolutely is. Assess it very carefully in regards to what it is. Um, and be very, very, um, you know, honest with yourself. You know, don't kind of, you know, make excuses or this and that. See it for what it actually is. Then once you make a judgment based upon that, then you can move forward knowing that um, you did the best you could um, deciding on this with what you had. Um, and then that way, when you move forward and you take the initiative, you won't have any regrets or any second guesses or anything like that. So move forward. Don't look in the rearview mirror. Okay. But make sure you do make sure you look at it very clearly. Um, take your emotions out of it. I often suggest people like look at it like a business decision, um, and then kind of make a determination based on that. Now, this is puzzling to me because the five of moss in the upright is about conflict. It's about a conflict usually with a group of people and fighting with a group of people. So I'm wondering if whatever you're, you're jumping into some sort of shark tank where other people kind of want what you have or they want to look better than you or something like that. But then the five of wands can also be conflict within yourself and fighting with yourself about something. So, um, Let's see what's going on with the clarifiers. I want to get for the clarifiers for that. Hopefully it'll clear things up to a degree. Why is the Ace of Beetles in the upright for Aries? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages, please, for the Ace of Beetles in the upright. Okay, we have the Temperance card in the upright. Which is the card of Sagittarius. We have the Nine of Swords in the reversed. And then we also have the judgment card in the reverse. Okay. So the temperance card has you trying to figure out how this is going to work out with everything you have presently going on around you. How are you going to compromise? How are you going to moderate things? I feel as though you didn't expect this to come in when it did. And it's kind of overwhelming you kind of tipping the scales a little bit. So you're just kind of going back and forth going, okay, I'm not going to, I'm going to remain calm. I'm going to figure out how to do this. Um, you know, and figure out how I can make this work so I'm not 
you know, um, overly agitated or overwhelmed or anything in that regard. Um, I see you working really hard at that because I see you trying not to overthink it. I see you trying to not think negative thoughts about it. Um, trying not to worry too much be um you know what i mean like any kind of negative thoughts you're 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 doing away with those because you know that's not going to help you if this if they factor in it's not going to help you in regards to this in the least but i do see you listening to this inner critic inside of you kind of chatting away saying you know can you do this should you do this what happens if you do this you know um so you know, I, I would be careful of that, listening to that devil on your shoulder, so to speak, um, telling you that you can't, you shouldn't, don't, things like that. Um, I think, I mean, I think, because nothing here is really saying go for it. It's just saying make sure that you know what you're getting into and then decide as you move forward. Okay, so the Ace of Wands in the upright. So this is something that's just like, boom, popped out of nowhere. And it, it's something that you're very, you, you're very connected to, very passionate about. You do get very excited about it, but there's a sense of urgency that kind of goes along with this. It's almost like you have to do this now or else. Um, the star card in the upright, this could actually have something to do with uh, you being a celebrity, you being in the public eye, you being a star, so to speak, with the star card in the upright, card of Aquarius. Um, and, and I feel as though for some reason that's a challenge for you. Maybe you're, you don't want that. Maybe you don't want that attention. Maybe you don't want to be in the public eye. Maybe there's too many challenges kind of associated with that. And another challenge is how busy you're going to be going between the two things. So I feel like you can't give up one thing, but you want to do the other thing and you're going to you're going to try to jump into it and then you're going to try to juggle both of them and you may not have time for for friends family a personal life anything like that but i see you trying to figure out how would you, how would you make these both of these things work because i feel like you don't want to give the one thing up just to have the other why is the judgment card here in the upright okay we have the eight of wands in the reverse okay the emperor card in the upright which is the card of Aries, you and the strength card in the reverse. So the advice here is slow things down. Uh, everything doesn't have to be done at a very quick pace. Just kind of pump the brakes so you can think about what you're doing, what action you're going to take um, proceeding forward. Nothing has to be done at all at one time. And like I said with the judgment card, take your time to, you know, um, pass your judgment on this and figure out the best way forward. Um, the emperor card here is kind of like you are the boss of this okay so whatever you kind of decide whatever you determine um it's your call and you're gonna have to follow through with it okay um you know follow, make your own rules basically and then don't break your own rules as you move forward and then the strength card in reverse is the card of leo this is a card of do not listen to your doubts your insecurities that are kind of pulling you back saying you can't do this you shouldn't do this what have you i mean this is me saying that i'm i'm seeing all i'm seeing here is you trying to decide but i'm saying you know, anytime we make a decision based on insecurities or doubts or things like that, it's usually the wrong decision. So why is the five of moss here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, you're still deciding all through all through this period of time. Even if you, as you move out of July into August, you can't figure out, should I stay or should I go? Um, you're right in the middle. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to do, to do both things at the same time. So this leads me to believe that the five of moss in the upright is inner conflict. You just can't. I think you're thinking you have enough energy that you're going to be able to put both on your plate. And I just think that you're going to have to choose between the two. Either what you've been doing or what you're about to get into. Um, additional messages. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. And one more message. Okay, Queen of Wands in reverse. So consider the finances associated with this. Um, I feel like one of these decisions is going to have you uh, have your finances be a little loosey goosey. Um, and if you're not really good with money, that might not be the choice that you want to take. But again, the Queen of Wands in reverse, the inner conflict. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I'm confident enough. I don't know if I have the power to kind of do this, which again, really weird for you guys um, being Aries, but we don't know what's in your moon or, you know, what's, what's in your 
pyramid heaven or anything like that so we're in the rest of your chart but i do see reservations and kind of holding back as a result of that um, also wondering if this is just going to be a short-term thing um, are you going to be able to commit to it or are you just going to be in and then get tired of it and be out so those are considerations that you're doing as you move forward so that's what i have for you it does resonate consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading just click on the link tree below or text me six or six nine zero two five seven one five otherwise make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra in there i will look at your love career finances and health specifically in my playlist your 2024 sun moon readings that are uploading 2023 predictions are still in my playlist check those out see if they rang true for you or somebody else and then finally look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate refer me to a friend in support of my efforts always greatly appreciated otherwise aries i will see you in the Vimeo reading. Adios for Veronica Garnett. Bye.